2021. My name is Father Trop, and I would like to welcome you to today. Before we go any further, I would like to announce, my brothers and sisters, that here at today, we have officially this morning aired our 200th episode. And let me be the first to thank you all for your faithful journey with us thus far. And my brothers and sisters, we look forward to so many more in the future. Once again, thank you, thank you, thank you. As usual, before we begin, I would like to remind you that we upload new episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 a.m. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever new episodes are uploaded. With that out of the way, my friends, let us begin. Today, my brothers and sisters, we'll be focusing on the life of St. Cyprian. Cyprian is important, my brothers and sisters, in the development of Christians' thought and practice in the third century, especially in Northern Africa. Highly educated, a famous speaker, he became a Christian as an adult. He distributed his goods to the poor and amazed his fellow citizens by making a vow of chastity before his baptism. Within two years, he had been ordained a priest and was chosen against his will as the Bishop of Carthage. Cyprian complained that the peace of the church had enjoyed, had weakened the spirit of many Christians and had opened the door to converts who did not have the true spirit of faith. Navitus, a priest who had opposed Cyprian's election, tried as hard as he could to overthrow Cyprian and his work. However, Cyprian always prevailed. During a plague in Carthage, Cyprian urged Christians to help everyone, including their enemies and their persecutors. A friend of Pope Cornelius, Cyprian opposed the following Pope, Stephen, and for this he was exiled by the emperor and then recalled for trial. He refused to leave the city of Carthage, insisting that his people should have to witness his martyrdom. The execution of St. Cyprian was carried out at once in an open place in the city of Carthage. A vast multitude followed Cyprian on his last journey. He removed his garments without assistance, knelt down, and prayed. After he blindfolded himself, he was beheaded by the sword. The body was interred by Christians who placed his body in his tomb. Cyprian was well known as a mixture of kindness and courage, vigor and steadiness. He was cheerful and serious so that people did not know whether to love or to respect him. For this reason today, September 13th, we celebrate the life of St. Cyprian and remember all churches dedicated in his honor. Let us take a moment now and let us pray. In the name of the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, who gave to your servant Cyprian boldness to confess the name of our Savior Jesus Christ before the rulers of this world and courage to die for this faith, grant that we may always be ready to give a reason for the hope that is in us and to suffer gladly for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Friends, as usual, I would like to thank you for tuning in. And as we always say here, make today your best day until we meet again.